heard a similar question to this, so I'm going to try to spice it up a little. <laughs> if you each had the ability to bend, which element would you most like to be able to manipulate? But then I also want you to tell me which element you would least want to be able to bend. Oh, oh that's yeah, good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would want to bend water for sure, and the least. What that I'd want to do is definitely fire. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, just because... The useless? During, during boot camp, um, we actually, like, learned, um, like, one or two forms of of oh. every element. So they had us in training, like, of each different fighting style. And, yeah, I discovered that fire is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I also learned how to bend all four elements in that boot camp. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have to go with water so I can give all my enemies wet socks all the time. Oh man. They don't even know what's going <laughs> on. <laughs> wet socks. <laughs> and then uh, definitely air is least. Uh, least by far. Because it's just. Huh? Unique. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you not seen what Aang does with that stuff? Where your homies at? I really am the last airbender. I'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with obviously fire being the element that I would like to bend, and then the element that I would also like least um, to to bend would have to be air as well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm on the same page with Ian as in like, <laughs> bro, you're just giving me, you're making me look cooler in the wind. You're just blowing my hair out, right? Yeah. So you're blowing my hair out. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can, <laughs> Aang's like, ah! right? And I'm just like, oh my God. taking it all in. <laughs> like, wow, that was really fresh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm... for my top choice, I'm going to choose air because, <laughs> well, no bias at all, but it's just superior, even though y'all cheated and used to comment to, you know, and, and my whole family. But, uh, and uh, my least favorite's going to be water because oh. I'm mad at Ian. <laughs> 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 and I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can you each name something about your character from the source material that you wanted to honor and hold especially tight to? But then also, I want to know something you wanted to add to make these versions of the characters uniquely your own. Something for me, like from the original, was just the how how she grows into her confidence. You know, that was like such a huge thing, and you know, something that we wanted to make our own. I think. The bending aspect of Katara, I feel like in the original series, she kind of just like starts off like already kind of understanding like in the first episode, like she's bending that, the fish over like mm -hmm. Sokka's head. And being the last waterbender of her tiny little tribe, like how does she know what to do? How does she know like these movements? And um, I think in our version, I really wanted to make um, a really, really clear difference from episode one and episode eight. For me, I think something that I wanted to certainly keep from the original series was Zuko's relationship with Uncle Iroh and how much, uh, how comfortable he was and how he was willing to lash out at Uncle Iroh but also be extremely vulnerable with him. Because at the end of the day, like in our series, you see that certainly in the first half, the only person that is willing to put up with Zuko is Uncle Iroh and, you know, support him on this journey even though he might not, even though he knows that it might not end the way Zuko wants it to. Mm -hmm. And I think something that I wanted to put in for myself was actually like making sure that I wasn't doing like an impersonation of this character, right? In the original series, Zuko is Right, it's an animated series, so everything that he says or that he does is going to be extremely big, extremely animated. Um, you could also quite melodramatic, right? Um, and so, even though that's such a classic part of his character, like we are doing a live ad live action adaptation, and so you have to think about these real people going through these real events um, and re real trauma, right? And so, finding that balance of staying true. Um, to the essence of Zuko, but also um, staying true to what people love about him so much was was certainly difficult, but I think I found a great balance um, thanks to like Albert Kim, our script writers, and um, obviously Uncle Iroh. 
We'll confirm that you do. The grounded texture of your performance, spot on. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. I think that something that I wanted to keep from the animated series is just like obviously like the comedy, uh, the sarcasm, uh, the the sardonic like overprotectiveness of Sokka. And then something that I think I wanted to like add or like maybe enhance is a better word is um, like when you're bringing something from like 2D, like 3D animation and you're like breathing in like real people into it is like the humanness of Sokka. Like you're watching some of that like comedy mask kind of crack and see his like vulnerability. Um, not fully obviously because he won't let you, but that's something that I tried to, tried to incorporate, I think. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, Gordon, last one up here. Oh, uh, something that I thought was really important about Aang is how happy and joyful he could be. And from the original, that's something that we needed to keep. But uh, a thing that I wanted to add was really like seeing Aang experience what he's going through in the show. Because like in the cartoon, since it's, it was based for children, we don't really get to see too much of like the genocide or like what Aang's going through or how things could actually be really sad for him. But in our series, we get to recognize that there was a genocide and Aang's friends, family, and just leaders in general are all gone. So uh, I think that was nice to be able to see Aang go through that to really build his character into being the happy, joyful kid he is. Very powerful element right there. So one of my favorite things to talk about is the power of movie magic. So can you each name something you saw or did on this set that made you go? I can't believe that's what it takes to make it look like that on screen. <laughs> okay, um... I would say the length of time for VFX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Respect I... for VFX always. Dude, shout out to Jabbar and the yeah. wonderful team that he's put together because Amen. seriously, we were shooting and I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna roll this thing out like crazy quick. Even though like I knew um, VFX would take a while, I thought it was something that we just got to right away along the process. But obviously like these are things that you just learn, um, you know, being in a lead in a series and then um, being closer to the process of what the directors and editors are actually working on behind the scenes. Yep. <laughs> this is a little bit silly, but it's the first thing that's coming to my mind. Just those like, huge like styrofoam rocks it was like yeah. <laughs> like there was just rocks lying around like boulders like and then someone would just come up and be like 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 moving it and it's like this it looks so real because it's like all painted and stuff and like it's just it's just such a funny part yeah. of like what we do <laughs> for some reason the thing that comes to mind is there was like this one day that it was like we had our i had already been working for like 12 hours mm. you guys were gone we I'd done like two really important scenes because we were block shooting the episodes, so it was like a really important scene from each one of the episodes. Mm -hmm. I think it was like five or like three and four, mm. and they were like, "Ian, we gotta keep you after this guy's scene." Like, so, like someone else was filming, mm. and then they brought me out there and they turned the volume green, and they were like, "We just need this one shot of you like seeing something." Can't say, it, but <laughs> of you seeing something. And I was like, there was like a tennis, there is just like eight people left on set straight yeah. up. <laughs> One guy holding like a tennis ball way up here. It was all green and I was just like screaming my heart out and everyone mm. was so tired because I was like, ah! And then they would be like, okay, um, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> and then it was like that like eight times. Yeah. And I just oh, yelled like dang. eight times and then they were like, all right, cool, everyone go home. <laughs> did, you, did you see it when you watched it? Yeah. Oh. It looks it looks good, but it was just so funny that I was like, man, this is what this is movie magic right here. Yeah, it's just eight guys in a tennis ball. <laughs> the tennis ball island is like super neat for me. I had never right. done that before. Yeah, either. yeah. Gordon, what about for you? I uh, feel like it's a shame that no one's brought up Appa yet. Oh yeah, well, oh faceless, legless <laughs> Appa. <laughs> the top I've upper portion stories. of him without the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With the one leg. With the one leg that we have to do scenes do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like any time, like you have to hug Appa, you have to hug one leg because of how big he is, and the leg is like ceiling tall. So it's like just to jump on. Yeah, yeah. Well, on on their scenes on top of Appa, and it was the three of them on their like you know, classic, like, flying through the sky scenes. 
I didn't realize how many people it took to like yeah. make <laughs> them look the like beast. they were moving. I mean, this was like a massive prop. I mean, mm -hmm. well, pet. Yeah. <laughs> pet <laughs> but, ever, bro. Prop. Yeah. yeah, there was like 15 people there just like pushing one side. And then it was like this coordinated movement to make it look as natural as possible, which mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah.